What is going on everybody? It is Frank the Tank and welcome to something different for a change. It's been a while since we were last on this. Uh, we're playing PBA Pro Bowling 2023 for the very first time. Uh, I have not even touched the game. I haven't even seen videos of it. Nothing whatsoever. So that way I, I go into this not knowing what to expect. Uh, the only thing I have seen is the trailer for the game, but that is it. I have not touched the game at all. Nothing. So yeah, we're going to be playing this for the very first time, and the last time uh, we were on here like this, uh, I believe, was when I was playing the PBA Pro Bowling 2021 game, so it's been quite a while, but uh, we're back with it, and we're going to see what we're dealing with. Uh, I'm sure many of you have already probably seen this stuff, but I'm going to give you my take on it, and also, before we get into this, pardon me if my voice sounds a little bit funny. I know, it pro to me, at least from what I'm hearing, it sounds a lot deeper. Um, no, I did not hit puberty again. Um, what I don't know, like I just got these really bad allergies and it like caused me to be like nasally congested really bad. And now as a result, like my voice sounds a lot different. So my bad for that. But luckily, um, it's not any worse than it is. But anyway, here we go. All right. Hopefully the game doesn't like crash or anything. I, I didn't think about that because remember what happened with the other game? It would like take for it would be on that right there where it says Farside Studios and it would like kind of be like a little bit frozen and stuff. So it would just take quite a while to boot up. But uh, so far, so good. OK, so choose mode. Um, would you like to play in arcade mode or simulation mode? Arcade mode allows you to add a hook to the ball. Oh, yeah, I remember this. They showed this in the when you play PBA for the first time. Uh, let's see, you can switch to the mode at any time. No, nah, we're gonna go with simulation. I hear that the arcade mode is BS. Uh, oh, what? You can create your own bowler now. How nice. Uh, I do believe in the last games, uh, the 2021 to 20, no, 2019 and 2021. I don't know how many games they made, but, uh, you had to pick a pro bowler. Now you can create one. That's cool. Even though... That's it, you only get four, four options, and they look nothing like me. This will have to do. I don't like his haircut, but you know what, whatever. So let's see, two-handed. See right here, if, if it were up to me, what I would do is put one, the options for one-handed, two-handed, full roller, one-handed, no thumb. I mean, come on, it's not just that. All right, so we're right-handed, obviously. Shirt color, we're gonna go with green because it's my favorite color, if you haven't noticed already. Okay, so this is the pro shop where you purchase bowling balls with tickets. I guess we're still doing that again. Uh, I hated the way it was the last time. Like, uh, I think what you had to do was like, it, it took forever to unlock, you know, uh, a bowling ball or whatever. I mean, you could buy them with gold pins, but you had to buy them with at your actual money to get gold pins, and it was hard to get gold pins. You, the only way I, from what I've seen, is you can like do a bunch of like achievements and stuff, and you'll get gold pins. But it was the the thing that I hated was how long it took to level up and how far back. Like I think to unlock a certain bowling ball, you had to get to like level a hundred and something. You know, it took forever. But yeah, uh, balls are divided into tiers and groups within those tiers. As you level up, you unlock new groups and tiers of bowling balls. Go ahead and purchase a tier. What? Well, yeah, sounds just about like the old one. So. That's, that's real nice. So let's see what they give us. Oh, well, that's nice. That That's just like the demo day that you see at your bowling centers. Uh, they lay them out on the table like this. Oh, so now you can upgrade speed hook and potential. Speed hook and control attributes of bowling balls in the pro shop. That, in my opinion, is stupid, but whatever. What is this, Tony Hawk? You can now upgrade the speed and control and all that with? Well, whatever, let's see what we have here. 900 Global X, which I've never heard of. That's been gone for a long time. Uh, oh, the Game Breaker 2 Phenom Pearl. The Rackham, old Roto Grip Ball, the Spec Ops. The, the Rocket is back. The Derange, I don't think I've ever seen that ball before. The White Hot Badger is back. The Hero, I don't remember seeing that ball in the last game. The High Road, how nice, classic. And I guess that's it. Whack choices right here. Okay, look at this. They gave us tiers now. That's pretty cool. Let's see, what's on tier two? The Halo Pearl, Hammer Statement Solid, Motive stuff, the Shan Spire Spare. 
The Legion Solid, haven't seen that ball ever. <coughs> the Rhino, that's my man Fern's ball right there. That was his first ever uh, strike ball that he purchased. He purchased it in 14 pounds and he still has it. Halo Pearl, how nice. Jackal Ghost. I think that's, uh, that one holds the record for being on the market the longest as an asymmetrical ball. This is interesting. Wow. Tier 3, the Crux, the Hypercell Skid. I don't think we've had that one before. That's cool. The Menace, I don't think we've had that. The High Wire, Code Black, the Optimus, the Brainstorm is back. Uh, oh, the Blue Paradox. That was a nice one. The Red Legend is back. The Hammer Web. The Idol looks nice. The Red. Paradox, the Physics, the Crux Prime, they're all back. All right, all right. Let's go to Tier 4 and see what they have to offer. The Parallax. I don't know if it was in the game, the last one. Uh, the IQ Tornado Pearl, the Rubicon is in. Uh, Clear Poly Squad RG Ball from uh, uh, Roto Grip is back. The Fast Pitch. Flux, love that ball. Clear Electric Blue that just got discontinued is back. The Trend is still in here. The Pitch Black is still in here. The Redemption Hybrid, the Halo, Honey Badger, Phase 3. Big Bowling is still in here. Okay, not bad. Tier 5, I'm excited. Jackal Flash, the Axiom, the Omega Crux. Uh, the Volatility, the Black Widow Legend, the IQ Emerald. I don't know if that one was in the game the last time. The Venom Shock. Big Bowling is definitely coming back. Supersonic, the Ordnance Pearl, the Proof Pearl, the Phase 2, the Goat, as everybody is looking at it. 900 Global Spare, don't know if that one was in the game. The Ice, the Dark Code. Urgh, I can't believe that one's in here. Uh, Volatility Torque, the Shim Wrecker, the Halo Vision. Okay, not bad. Tier 6. Oh, here we go. It's here! The Clear Storm Black Thelmo is here! No freaking way! Oh, you have to get to level 75 to unlock it. Ugh, no. Oh, look at that. I can't believe they have actually finally done it. The Clear Storm Black Thelmo is in a video game. Oh, oh my goodness. That is amazing. The Crest Spare, the Gold Crown Jewel. Uh... Okay, okay. Big Bowling's White Spare Ball is in. Wow. The Strata Hybrid, I, I always like the colors on that one. The Purple Pearl Urethane is here. I don't believe it was in the game before. Could have been, maybe, I don't know. <coughs> uh, the Trend 2, That I don't, th I don't think that one was in the game the last time. That was cool. The Honey uh, Badger Yellow Poly Spare is here. The Visiball, nice. The Zen Master, good ball. UFO Alert. This is looking good. All right, so that I, I guess that's it. Uh, we don't really have a whole lot to go on here. But uh, yeah, that's it. All right. Okay, after, now that we're done looking at bowling balls and seeing what they have added, uh, let's go ahead and play a quick game because that's really what we came here for. So, okay. The same guys from the last game are here. Prather's added. Uh... I don't know, Was Darren Tang wasn't in the game before. I bet he's happy about that, because I know he used to play this game. Uh, Chris Vi, Pete Weber. Uh, okay, not a lot of new additions, but whatever. Uh, you know who we gotta be. You know, you know, you just know. Okay, single player, opponent. I don't know, who should we be? Let's be Prather. He's been a bit of a pain in the butt for, for Belmo. I mean, Belmo's only been able to defeat him once on TV in the PBA Tour Finals 2019, but ever since then, uh, he's defeated him more uh, more often than not. He eliminated him from the playoffs, uh, eliminated him from the Tournament of Champions. So, Bullmore, PBA Stadium, that's crazy. They should make one of those in real life, the PBA Stadium. Broadcast Alley, Tournament of Champions. 
Not a lot of options here, but I guess we'll go to the broadcast alley. I've never seen that before. I guess we'll bowl on the Salvino pattern. Who cares? I believe that's what they used at the TOC in 2020, so... I, I, I don't know. I can't remember, but let's do this. Let's see what we got. I'm Rob Stone, and I'll be covering all the action here along with the Hall of Famer, Randy Peterson. We've got an excellent matchup tonight between the player and Chris Prather. Well, the action's about to begin, and it should be a good one. Okay. So, I don't know if you guys can hear any of this real well. I mean, I tried adjusting the volume, but uh, I don't know. I did a couple of test runs just to test the sound compared to how loud my voice is, and I don't know if you're able to hear one over the other or if it's just right, so... Uh, oh, well. But yeah, looks pretty cool. See, this is the way a bowling, you know, venue should look, you know? This looks pretty cool. So, yeah, I know. Skip tutorial. I think I know how to do this. I, I, I doubt that they've changed the way it's been since the last game, so... Okay, so... Belmo's wearing his shirt from 2020. That's nice. All right, so... He's using a Venom. <laughs> uh, he's using a mode of Venom. That's that's different. That'll be the day we we see that. But okay, let's see here. Yikes! Goes wide there. Yeah, and wide is an understatement. That could have been a gutter ball. So, I'm not seeing any changes. It looks the same. Tough, but not impossible shot here. Okay, we'll just go straight at it. There you go. Spare. Nice. A spare to start things off. <clears throat> now, 2020. There's Prather looking like in... Title in that does not look like Prather. Seven top five and four third place finishes over the previous two seasons. If I were Prather and I saw this, I'd be disappointed. Like, seriously. It looks like no effort was put into his character. What the heck? Okay, we're moving right because of what happened. Oh, there we go. <laughs> okay. Well, that happened. Seeking a double here. All right. Well, you can you can really see the lines now. That's different. Is the pattern going to deteriorate quicker now? Wow. That infamous ringing 10. Whatever. 95% of the time on the tour, single 10. This is one thing that I don't like about the game, but I, I am guilty of it. Is going over here to pick up the 10 pin like this. I'm not going to do that for you guys. I'm actually going to try to do it the right way. That looks about right. I hope it's not too much. Yes. Already has two strikes, looking for a third. Yep, he won the inaugural PBA playoffs in 2019. And he beat Belmo to get there. And he's got the advantage because he's using a 15-pound UFO alert. And I'm using, over here using what I think might be like a 13-pound motive Venom. <laughs> oh, brother. Working off a turkey, trying to upgrade This is embarrassing. Oh, brother. Okay, so I think you guys pretty much get the idea of what's going on here. Um, I, I just noticed that they eliminated the use of gold pins. So that's uh, something else there. So I guess now you can't uh, cheat, like skip ahead, if you know what I mean, and uh, buy the bowling ball that you want with real money. I guess now you just have to earn your way through with tickets. So... Uh, but yeah, you know, that kind of really takes it out of me. Uh, like, yeah, that, you know, the fact that uh, you now have to, like, upgrade the bowling ball with attributes or whatever, that, that just takes it out of me. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I guess that's pretty basic. But I, let's now take a look at the career mode and see what we're working with there. So, okay, so... Let's see, I hit career mode, I hit compete, and now it's asking me for the region that I want to compete in. Well, I do believe, I'm in Cali, so I guess the West?
Oh, the Players' Championship, of course. That's how they do it. That's, that's okay, not bad. I forgot about that. You know, uh, they what they do for qualifying is a bunch of different regions, and they make a stepladder final for every region, and the winner of those stepladders from each region go to the Players' Championship. Okay. Okay. Here we go. I'm just making guesses at this point. Not bad. Looking good here early. Nice start, Rob. Trying to get the train rolling here with two strikes in a row. Of course. Ringing seven. It can be a cruel sport sometimes. Seven pin is no gimme, but still picked up 93% of the time. Covers the seven. Oh, I got lucky there. That was a high hit. The pins just took a beat down on that one. Looking for two straight here. And the seven again. Through the nose. I mean, that was way off. <clears throat> My goodness. Wow. That's a swing and a miss. Whoops. Rob, we call that going Brooklyn. Looking for two in a row. And that pin will not go down. Out the ten there. The heck happened? I swear I pushed that ball out to the right. Trying to get a streak going here. Terrible. That was just a Terrible. little late getting around the corner. Nice cover there. And they all go down. Looking for the double. Did you guys just see just that? Like the way the ball going on TV. The just, are on and the pressure is cranked up. I don't know, like the, the, this pattern's deteriorating quicker than I thought. For three in a row now. Whoops. Should have slowed my speed there. Takes out seven pins. Game one is in the books. We've got game two coming up 18th, next. 18th, 195. The conditions are definitely getting trickier compared to the older, uh, the old game, the previous game. 
That's crazy. So taking a look at the rest of the thing, uh, I guess uh, they were telling the truth. They are trying to make it more like the PBA schedule. So the Players Championship, the World Series of Bowling, Cheetah, Chameleon, Scorpion, the USBC Masters, the US Open, the TOC, the Super Slam, uh, the playoffs. Uh, I don't see the PBA League in here anymore. So that kind of sucks, but you know, how the heck were they ever going to do that? So, uh, but yeah, this makes uh, sense. I'm going to assume, uh, maybe some of you already know this, but I'm going to make an assumption that the more you progress to the qualification, the lower the field gets. I mean, that's technically how they do it in real life. They start out with like a long, massive list of bowlers, and then you know, after every like two rounds, they have a cut line. And um, if you're under that cut line, you're out. If you're over that cut line, you keep going until they get down to the final five for the step ladder. So I'm assuming that's how it's gonna be. So um, yeah, I think I'm gonna cut it right there. Um, and uh, yeah, I, that's pretty much all there is to see. There's not really much else. I mean, uh, it's just quick play, career mode, uh, online stuff, the pro shop. It's really nothing else. It, I don't really see any other changes, so uh, there you go. Uh, if any of you were like thinking about, huh, should I get the game, should I not? Well, I hope this kind of helps uh, make uh, that decision for you. Uh, but um, there it is. And honestly, uh, if I had to give my opinion on it, uh, there's not a whole lot. I mean, they just uh, revamped the PBA schedule for the career mode. Uh, Added a couple new bowling balls for the pro shop. Um, I don't see any like changes to the graphics and uh, added a couple new pros. Uh, so, you know, typical, you know. This is what they do with video games these days and this is how it's been for years. Uh, over time, you'll see like changes with the graphics, you know, when they make new consoles, but um, usually what you'll see is they'll just add new you know, new content uh, to, you know, pull people in and they think that that'll be enough. But, you know, a lot of people are uh, getting a lot smarter with this stuff nowadays. I did it uh, simply uh, for you guys uh, to see, like, what we're working with. So, yeah, I, I feel like I just lost 20-something uh, dollars. Uh, but, you know, whatever. What's done is done. And that is that. So, I'm Frank the Tank. That was PBA Pro Bowling 2023. If you guys want to see more of this, let me know in the comments section. I'll try to get through the career mode and we'll just make something of that. So, uh, yeah, let me know in the comments section if you guys want to see more of this stuff. But uh, this really was just uh, just uh, like a little playthrough just to see what we're working with. So that's it for that, and I will see you guys in uh, my league videos or something else. So, yeah, see you around.